not this gray though. No, smaller. Smaller. Okay. Hi everybody. Um <laughs> Hi everybody. I've got um, some time. I can take some quick questions, and then we'll go over everything. Yeah, Hudson. And then after boxes, we'll go over all the wonderful things that's happening. I know. Chaplin will get a home. Yeah, we'll go over all who's on, you know, the holds and been adopted. Oh, Bats! Hi, Bats! I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you you in just a little bit. Just give us the dirt on the kitty. Okay, we'll see the plain point. Yep, we'll show you, Nani. I don't that's up. Hmm? I don't that's up. Oh, you did. Okay, good. Okay. I don't know what is going on with her. I'm just saying they were just out, weren't they? Yeah, they can stay out for a little while. This one, yes or no? No. <laughs> the smaller. The smaller. I can see the smallest. That's not big. Awesome. Shut up. And we'll see. I got the... Whoops, whoops, wait a minute, I lost it. You guys are fine, I just got to backtrack a little bit. We'll do boxes first and then the questions. So as soon as we get them through the boxes, we'll go over all this. Oh, um, I don't know, maybe seven? Uh, oh, that's a good question, Yuki. sure she sees that Subra. <laughs> to get for Donna.
Okay, I think I'm caught up. Tugger. Okay, I think we can get started. No, um, I love my pup. We're strictly, um, strictly cat. Uh-oh, Bella. Are you back on? DLC, I'll answer that one right now so I don't have to copy that down. Um, no, most of the people that, um, have been here today, um, already knew about us. Okay, let's get... Who is breathing in my ear? Who is that? Oh, Patty. I love you. Okay, we'll get started. Get her meds. Nope, she hasn't got her... Oh, yeah, Bella's... Or, Tara's got all of her meds today so far. Did you find them? That's the Four. one. Four. Four. And then did you get um, the three-legger yet? Um... Well, you did get the little Mickey. Einstein. Which which one are you missing? Did you? <laughs> I'm asking you. Look at him. <laughs> I got the gray one. You got the cute one. The cute one. The cute one. The cute one. And then Donna. Donna. Oh, you got the black one. Oh, I thought you said you don't see the. Oh, okay. Bring Donna and I'm glad you got new Usually Donna's out front and center. She's not She's black with a little bit of tigerness look on her. Angie, and then they stay in there for the night. not open this one. Kurt did. He was looking for a particular thing that was ordered. And he told me to make sure I didn't look in there. Excuse me. Angie, I'll keep looking. find you a home, buddy, buddy girl. A tiger, brown tiger. The three legs. The three legs. Well, I got the three legs. <laughs> <laughs> brown tiger. Someone, someone picked up um, a Hetty the other day and said, oh, here it is. This is it. And it's like, and then she counted legs. It's like, oh, no, no I've one too many. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I got something else in the house yet, too. Oh, 
about the chicken. Okay, and this one I did not look at either. I'm being very trustworthy, but it came open, but I didn't look. What do you see? What do you see? Fuzzy? I thought maybe they might was going to pick you there for a minute. Wow! This looks like a huge assortment of goodies. There you go, guys. And... Uh-oh, we don't have a name on this one. So hopefully somebody will claim it. It's from Amazon. It's from Amazon. Oh, good. I love these little boxes like this. 24, and there's three different varieties in it, and they love the fillets. They they just do. So we gotta got to know who did this. Wow, this is another huge assortment one. What are you doing? 
This is the fridge key. I'm going to leave this in here because if I don't, did he tell you somebody threw up and really pooped? And I'm a woman, so I clean it. Oh! Diggers, diggers. Here's the man where he drove. <laughs> Go take it out and put it in his truck. <laughs> this is a 20, 24 pack of, <laughs> of whiskers. I always like serving whiskers at breakfast time. And uh, this is a huge assortment also. You see he's got three in the first one and four different kinds in the second one. Um, the Friskies Classic. And I think we'll see how, how I am at guess. And I think this is turkey. Turkey and giblets for Thanksgiving. We'll make sure they get some of this for Thanksgiving. That's pretty sad. I know some of the favorites by their colors. And... A 24 pack of um, frisbees, and I think this is salmon. It is salmon, and uh, this one is one of um, Magenta's favorites. She likes this. Do we know who sent this? So it's Whiskas Salmon, um, Classic Fancy Feast Whiskas, and what was that other one? It was Bella. It probably was. The fancy and two fritzies. So she went over and did that. Any cleaners? Okay. Do we need boxes? Um, she told me the other day that she didn't. And thanks for thanks for asking though. Um, I think that they've got enough now. Oh, which one should we do next? This one looks exciting too. They all do. Oh, this one's another Amazon. Do you want to help me? Oh, hey, just in case Tweenie's mom is on, here's Tweenie. Tweenie's going to be a Cal Colorado one. Is that the right right way to say it? Colorado one? Colorado. Yeah, she's going to be a Colorado girl. There you go. Maybe your mom is on there. What do you see? Okay, you got to get down though. And this one is from Amazon. And this one is a heavy one. You know, you guys have made it possible. I honestly have bought no canned food only twice in, in like a whole year. You guys have done it for us. Ooh, we got a piece of paper. <laughs> this one says... Oh, this is from, well, it says, best wishes for a happy Thanksgiving day, turkey dinner, or wait, best wishes for a happy Thanksgiving day, turkey dinner for Putter, Ada Jane, the Patties, Asha, Farah, Twinkle, Bella, Cutie, Magenta, Badu, Dugster, Diffie, Tur Turing, hey, your kitties get some of this. And all the FFRC kitties from Anna Marie, Neil, the Vixen, and Sterling. And, and Shep. Isn't it Shep? I think, isn't that what he was teasingly calling Vixen? The Bonita, bon, Bonita? The kitty? I think it was Shep. And then it also says, wow, you're good. To Simone, Timothy, Charlie, Roland, Jonah, Savon, Muffin, Soy Boy, Lily, LaDonna, Sylvan, Buffy, Riley, Honey, and Oliver. Those are all the kitties that live in um, Kitty City. Hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving Day turkey dinner in your new Kitty City. Aww. So, and this is Anna Marie and Neil who adopted Benito, Benita, who they call Vixen. Bandita. Bandita, who they call Vixen, or I think Neil calls her Chef. So, this must be turkey flavor also. Oh, this is um, Newman's Own Organic Turkey Formula for Cats. Is there two of these? Yeah, so we'll have one case for inside and one case for... We'll do that. Is Anna Marie on? Because we could, we could also share a little bit for um, the outdoors like the barn kitties and that would love it too. Turkey formula for cats. 
No, I think she, I think he, because I think he always called it shut because he was kidding me, teasing me about it. Yeah, Paul Newman's own turkey formula for cats with made with organic turkey. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Thank you. So synthetic turkey. Yeah. This is the real stuff. It sounds better and it sounds healthier. Thank you, Anna Marie and Neil and Keith. Oh, and there's two more things. Aww. Funny Farms food food made to play with? Oh, now I have to. At Funny Farms, we put the live in livestock by using only real live plush animals to deliver the freshest toys. This must be like a little gift. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll, we keep uh, two tubes over on the wall over there. Um, with toys with sticks on it and feathers and all kinds of fun stuff for people and kids to play with and adults like too. So I'm going to put those in there too. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll set those in there so I don't forget. Thanks, Anna Marie. There she is. Thank you. Sorry, Kitty. Oh, <laughs> I hadn't noticed that. You're right. <laughs> Check this out. The toy that's on here is also a turkey. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Thanks, Anna Marie. No, Anna Marie doesn't doesn't Neil call call the kitty chef? I, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Anna Marie. Turkey trot, it's called. Yes. yes, I thought so. Ooh. Uh oh, I lost. There it is. This one here, I wanted to. This is the one I almost was so interested in, I almost opened it, but I didn't. And this is from. Oops, were you stuck? Were you stuck? Boy, she is just as sleek as sleek can be. Um, this is from Elaine and Willis, who is Quasi. And you guys have been helping to support us for a long time. It says a gift note from Elaine. Hi, Jackie and all. Hope the kitties like this Tiki brand. Regards, Ella, and Elaine and Willis. Yeah. Oh, didn't you have a couple of those up there? Yeah. And this is tuna. It says, yeah, tuna with tiger prawns, prawns in tuna consomme, I think. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's we'll see what the other ones are. You know these guys will like this place side. They like it, everything. They do like extra yummy stuff. Look at the design. Whoops, design on that. Little kitty. That's pretty cool. And the first ingredient is first ingredient is tuna. Oh we got we got three different flavors. All natural, whole seafood, no byproduct. This one is um, seafood, tuna, and crab. And crab. And this one is sardine. <gasps> we love sardines here. All natural, whole seafood, no byproduct. <gasps> oh. Maybe I could keep one of the cans of sardine bell for me and give them this, and maybe the kitties wouldn't notice. I think that's what I think I will have to maybe do. No, I'll sh I always share. Thank you, Elaine and Willis. Appreciate that big time. Do you know what? I'm going to say, hmm? Okay, except I'm going to save one of each kind and use it for breakfast tomorrow. Part of the breakfast. It's not my mom and dad. Okay. Wow, you guys are you guys are doing pretty good on your food. 
This one is, this says Online Direct Corporation from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And oh, here I was thinking of something harder than. Do we have a name? Oops, hang on just a minute. looking after these cats. Edinburgh. Ed Edinburgh. My, mo my mom and dad think you do a wonderful job looking after these cats who are a huge source of amusement to them. From Maisie, a rescued cat. And I just got an email today from Maisie. Yeah. She says, Maisie says, I sent some cat food and litter on Friday. Q-tip, which is what came in today, um, but I don't think you received a company message saying who it was from. My name is Maisie, and I'm a calico cat who lives just outside Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Scotland. I was abandoned, and sadly for me, I didn't have a wonderful center like yours to look after me, so I lived rough on the streets for a while before I was rescued. I am now a very happy house cat, as my mom and dad think, don't think us kitties should be outside either. My mom and dad have recently been introduced to the webcam and now watch, if lo watch it lots of times a day. They think you all, what you do is fantastic. And mom has been voting as well, so paws crossed you win. That's cool. Happy Thanksgiving. That's really cool. I like that. Clear, friends clear from Scotland. Thank you, Maisie. Tell your mama and dad that we appreciate them very, very much. <laughs> Einstein's in there. He's been talking all day. Thank you, Maisie. We appreciate your you you kitties that help us out. And we have a box, and this one is from Jeepers from Pennsylvania. Uh oh, what are you doing, Chaplain? Be careful. Be careful. I think I must say that 50 times a day or more. And they never listen to me, anyhow. So go ahead and be dangerous. There we go. Are you going to help? Oh, smell that. That smells good. Oh, to Jackie's staff and volunteers. Oh, smells really good. You still can't smell good. Wishing you all a great Thanksgiving. A special thank you to those sharing the day with all with the kitties at FFRC. You are also dedicated and truly special. Hoping this box doesn't arrive as applesauce. Wishing you all the simple pleasures and little joys that make a holiday happy. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And this is from um, Jeepers, our webcam viewer. And a towel to pat it. But check this out. Oh, my goodness. I wish you could smell this. These smell good. You know all the apples that um, we got last week from that, what was that, David and... Harry and David, those were delicious. We've shared that with everybody. I'll put this up in the um oh, yeah, go ahead. I I'll put this up in that pin one where we have um for all the volunteers to share. So thank you. I appreciate this and it makes me very happy that you guys remember the volunteers here. I we just couldn't do this without them, so we'll put this up there. These smell really, really good. And then I think we have a couple more things. You guys want that? Go ahead. I still smell. Hmm? 
Can you all see Raza in that box over there? She likes it. Ah, yeah, it's hard to believe Thanksgiving is coming up here this week. It says, do not bend. Oh, this is, it's from an anonymous person. And it's from an anonymous person. Huh. Huh. I like these mystery packages. But don't bend. Oh, this would be cute. Aww. Check these out. These are for the window cleans. This will be fun. I love to decorate if I can. It's hard to decorate with the kitty, so um, these we can. Check that out. These are all those window clings. You pull them off and stick them on the windows. Oh, that's pretty. You know what? Friday, after the day after Thanksgiving, these are going up. Yeah, they will. They'll love these. Oh, there's two of those. So you can put one on. We've got way, we've got a lot of doors. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you, whoever our, our, our anonymous friend is. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to decorate with the kitties because there's so much that we can't do. Oh, these are even. Okay, oh, I better not. Or if I get started now, I'll, I'll keep on going. So thank you, anonymous friend. We'll, do, we'll have a bunch of fun with these. Thank you. I like that. Here, Farrah, will you take care of that for me? And then we have, um, mm, 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 mm. there we go. We've got three postcards. I love putting these up. Oops, sorry about that, Raza. Check that out. It's Minnesota. Minnesota. Minneapolis. Um, Dr. Cindy is from Minnesota, and she always says that. She's going home to Minnesota. It says, um, Spoon Bridge and Cherry. Although winter is on its way, especially here in Minnesota, I'll be spending it wrapped up in the warmth and affection. Aww. You and the volunteers give to all the cats. Thank you for warming my heart with all that you do. Love, Yuki. Yuki, I thank you for sending that. Thank you. Isn't that cool? I love getting these postcards. Thank you, Yuki. I'll stick that up on our cork board. And this is from Albuquerque. That's pretty cool. Albuquerque. This is, I love these cards. It says, uh, to Jackie and FFRC volunteers, Happy Thanksgiving from the land of enchantment, New Mexico. We are fairly new webcam viewers, but already big fans. We feel blessed to have a window into the world of FFRC via the Ustream and wanted to thank you for all you do for so many wonderful cats and kitties. You have a special place in our hearts. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. This is Ellen and Jeremy H., who is ABQ Cat. That must be their webcam name, ABQ Cat. And if you're on, welcome and thank you. Um, and also, there are two rescued cats. Alex is 15 and Samantha is age 11. That's pretty cool. Thank you for sending that. So we got two, and now we have a third one. Oh, is this from Bella? This is. Oh, check that out. It's uh, Lake, or uh, yeah, Lake Chelan. Hey, is Bella on? This says, um, "Hello, Jackie, volunteers, and all the kitties. Here is a postcard from my favorite place, Lake Chelan, Washington, and wanted to share with you." Thank you for all the love and care you give to all the cats that come to FFRC. You will be blessed many times over. Take care. Love from Bella Shalan. Bella, thank you. Bella, you are on. Hey, you know what? This is extra special to me because, you know, my sister lived there in Seattle, Washington for, um, for years. And one time, this has been 
quite a few years ago, my mom and dad and I went there and she took us to Lake Chelan. I remember this very well. It was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful country. Thank you, Bella. I appreciate that. So, um, I didn't realize that's where why your name is is that. So thank you. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. And then we have two cards. Oh, this is from our friends Cindy and Dave who live in Riverside, California. Okay to read in boxes. Now check this out. This is what I love. See where it says, okay to read with boxes. I like that because sometimes I don't always know. Hmm? Yeah. He's not. Come on, brother. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Check this out. You, I hope you can see this. Here's a cat, a calico cat, looking in the mirror and thinking he's a big, big dog. Isn't that cool? I like that. It says, I printed out the newspaper article and took it down to the Thursday Knit and Crochet Club, which consists of a half a dozen gray-haired ladies and Dave who sit around for two hours knitting, crocheting, and talking about grandkids, health insurance, and body parts that no longer work. <laughs> One of the ladies who read it asked me to send this $5 to you. I hope it's just the beginning of many more donations that the recent publicity generates. Thanks for the five spot, Jan. Jan A, if you are on, thank you. And uh, for the card, it says rule number one, coffee always comes first. That is cool. Much love to you, the kitties, and all the volunteers and helpers, Cindy and Dave. And um, Cindy is the Cindy Luhu, and Dave is the DL um, Mincer that, that we see on there that are our webcam friends. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Cindy, when Cindy and Dave, when you go to your knit and crochet club, will you please tell Jan that I think that's awesome. That's really cool. Thank you for that. And um, I'll note that in my books, and then I'll hang the card up. And we have one more. One more. This is from um, Bloomington, Indiana. Some of our mail arrives just kind of ripped sometimes. Oh, check that out. It says to my FFRC family. Yeah, remember Dave made us some of those blankies? This says you got to love a holiday that centers around a large flightless bird. <laughs> from saying happy Thanksgiving from, oh, this is from Nika Ross. That big bird would be history in the center. Octavia would stash it, that's for sure. Thank you, Nika Ross. That's pretty cool. I'll, put, I'll hang this up also. You guys are awesome. I bet you there's no other webcam cam out there that has as wonderful people as what you guys all are. Thank you. Hey, Kirk, can you hang these up on the hall and I'll record the $5 then? That's pretty cool. Thank you, guys. You guys are really awesome. Well, we have... Oh, wait. What a day. Oh, here's... Yeah, we got to do this part also. Yeah, we'll hang Jeepers up, too. The Jeepers is the one who sent us that, those yummy, yummy smelling apples. Um, all right, Kiki. Uh, I think what I'll do is read down my list of the things that I wanted to mention tonight and then I'll go over the questions and uh, see if we can get everything all answered here. Uh, first off, if you read the blog, did we get the blog up? If you read the blog, I explained about Tugger. Tugger, I love Tugger. We all love Tugger. Um, he was becoming an accelerated bully this past week and it was getting kind of bad for a couple of the cats but in particular for Bella and over this weekend I saw him uh, really really harassing Bella and this morning was the final straw 
poor Bella come tearing down the hallway here, and she you could tell by her face she was petrified. I mean, she just by looking at her, you, you could tell she was scared. Right behind her was Tugger, and I saw him nip at her rear, and that is the third time that I saw Tugger doing that to her. So, as you all know, we've we've spent a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of effort in trying to save Bella um, that stomp, you know, and she has to have a good stomp because that affects her whole life. So she's right now in excellent condition on that stump, but that is where he, that tugger was going at. So um, I called my good friend, and he said that he would take her. This, this, hmm? yeah, yeah, no, take her, Bella. I called her, or her, I'm sorry, I'm still thinking of Bella. I'm sorry, would take Bella, or would take tugger. Da, da, da. I'm all mixed up. Um, I feel bad about that, but... You know, I've got somebody that had uh, called last week that is interested in Tugger, and it sounds like that that's going to go through. Everything that I've done on my part is checked out, and so I think that is going to happen. So he's going to keep uh, Tugger until the adoption, and then I will take these people down there or meet them down there and do the official adoption there. So everything's fine, um, but... You know, I, in case you questioned, really, was that necessary? It was necessary because if Bella gets another abscess like she did before on her stump site, there's not a lot of skin left there for any repair job. So we just had to do what we did, and it's all going to work out anyhow. So it'll be fine. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me today about Putter, and I think Putter is fine. Uh, he has eaten. He's sitting right over there. And uh, he's still doing his stare-down job. Right now he's staring at Claudius. I think Claudius better move or he's going to get whacked. Um, but he's fine. He was a, he was sleeping like a log this morning, and I couldn't find him, which caused me concern because Putter is always out here. But he was still sleeping. He did eat his breakfast, and today he has eaten a couple of times for us. And remember, we just weighed him, too. Uh, one day last week it was and his weight is real good so I think we're I think Putter's okay so uh, Lilo was adopted this afternoon by Robin and you know that's going to be a really cool home for Lilo these people have some some other pets and I think but not very many and I think that uh, this is going to be just a really cool house for Robin they're going to be very patient with her and let her um, be herself. I think here Lila was a little bit overwhelmed, and I do know that Tugger was also picking on Lilo also. So being in a home where there weren't very many parents or very many cats, and having a mom and dad that both of them are awesome, I think she's just going to blossom. They're going to keep us informed and put things on Facebook for us. And uh, hi, Nancy, my sister. And I think that that's going to be a pretty cool thing for Lilo. So Kathy was also adopted today. This one was a complete surprise to me. But a lot of you know the young man and young lady who they visit here every once in a while. It's uh, Remus's uh, owners. And the last time that she was here, that they were here, the she uh, fell in love with Kathy. And just, I mean, we're talking head over heels in love with Kathy. So her dad came here with her, her brother also this afternoon late, and he wanted to adopt Kathy for her. So Kathy, if, um, and, but she didn't know it. So what they did was when they, left, or when they were still here, they made a phone call to home, told them they were here at the rescue center, but that Kathy had been already adopted. And they were going to take Kathy home and show her that they were the ones that adopted her. So I know that's going to be a really cool home, too. Uh, Cobbets will be leaving Thanksgiving morning, so that will be another adoption. And remember, Missa is already scheduled to be adopted um, a week from tomorrow, I believe it is, by Diane, one of our webcam friends and volunteers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so then, 
I wanted to let you know what Pat, our Thursday night volunteer, has been doing. Uh, you might have seen somewhere along the line the, the wrist warmers that she's been making. We sell those at our different events, and the last event we had went to at Kircher's, they work in the greenhouse, and it's cold, and their fingers get cold, so they ordered 22 of them, I think 21 or 22 of them, and we're getting $6 a piece, so that's a really nice little fundraiser for us. She just brought the last ones tonight, so tomorrow I'm going to call Kircher's and let them know that they're ready, and I'll drop them off, so that was pretty cool. Is Robin on? Robin! Hope everything's going okay. Keep us informed. Glad you made a home safely. Uh, Bet is our new calico. I know Bet's the two-legged is on right now. And I think Kurt uh, showed Bet the four-legged one a little bit ago. Here she is. This is a lovely, lovely kitty. She's got a, a lot of gold on the top of her head and on the back of her neck. She's an awesome cat. She purrs. <laughs> she purrs. She's really laid back. And uh, she came out of her pen by herself this morning. Then she went back in by herself. And now she's kind of, she's out and about. She was even over on the far side this afternoon later. So, Beth, there's your namesake. And then Possum is doing awesome. Awesome Possum. I, that first day, Possum acted like, ooh, I'm not too sure about all these cats. And now he's here, there, and everywhere. And that's not him. But there's so many black and white ones now. This, we, we are black cats, black and white kitty overloaded. You know, look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black and white kitties that I'm just seeing right now at the moment. Yeah, we got a lot of black and white, but I love black and white. So, Possum is doing good. Uh, also wanted to let you know that Hudson, the little white kitty, is leaving tomorrow. Uh, that'll be tomorrow afternoon, probably around 3.35, 3.40, somewhere in there, because Stephen will probably go to the movies. So, I told him it has to be done before then. She's going to pick up her boys from school, and they're going to come and adopt Hudson. They are super excited really nice two boys that she has. These two boys, I love it when they're so polite. There's there's Possum. But the home that Hudson's going to has these two boys that are, are wonderful. And just in case some of you ask, uh, the two ladies that was here earlier today, they are very interested in adopting. I asked them to wait till tomorrow to make sure that they were ready for a cat because they weren't quite ready. They've always done dogs. So uh, they may or may not be back tomorrow. They are. They do have a cat selected, but I'm not sure if it's going to go through yet or not, so we'll, we'll kind of hold on that. But that could possibly be another adoption. And uh, Badu. I'm telling you, that cat, I love that Badu. She is doing better and better and better and better. We've been, and I think it's the signs also telling people, don't pet her, leave her come to you. And everybody's remembering to pet her head. Um, today, though, I was petting her from the head all the way to the tip of her tail, and she was enjoying it. Uh, she is awesome. She's going to be okay. We're just going to just keep working on her. Um, we love her. Now... Uh, RHCSFO, I'm not sure if that's if you go strictly by letters or not. One is the see Anani, and maybe we'll see Anani, and I'll hold, we can hold, maybe Kurt or I can hold him up to you. Yeah, yeah, you know, Anani, you know, we have all these comfortable things laying all over the place for the kitties. Anani is almost always around the corner, laying on the floor, on his back, four paws up. He cracks me up. He's just an awesome cat. I have adoption fee written down here. Thinking I was going to remember what that was for. There's a nani. This is this is a flame point. Someone on there said they didn't know what a flame or hadn't seen a flame point. Thanks, Dave. This is a really laid back cat. Just like okay, whatever you want, anything goes. His eyes are awesome. I don't know if you can see them on there or not. Open your eyes, Anani. 
Yeah, yeah, Kurt's got, yeah, check out Kurt's Flickr. He's got a really good picture of, of Anani. Yeah, he's a cool cat. Got a big, thick tail there. But our adoption fee, I probably, uh, I'm going to answer it not in the right way because all I have written down is adoption fee. But we have 200 to $250 in every single kitty, minimum, minimum. Some of these way more. But our adoption fee is only 90 and that includes two to three distemper vaccines, two leukemia vaccines, minimum of three warmings. Um, when they come in, they get a Capstar and a bath. They have a vet physical. They get a leukemia, FIV, and heartworm test upon arrival. Four weeks later, we repeat the leukemia vaccine or uh, leukemia test and they get their spay and neuter and then anything extra medically they need they get so hope that was the right answer to that um mk mouse asked about possum which we just showed awesome cat and to show shasta and dulcy um uh, let me see if i know where they are at what are you doing peverly oh Larray wanted to see them and Zelda asked about Emmeline's skin condition. Emmeline's skin condition is like a autoimmune problem that she has. It's all like allergy related, but because of her immune system, it kicks into high gear. You know, though, it's been a lot better this last month, but just like a, a click, it can sprout up again. We do have to give her depo every once in a while, but we try to hold off that. Um, within reason because we don't want it to get too far ahead of us that's part of the reason she lost her eye and she has all the scarring in the other eye and it's her eyes her whisker pads her chin her belly um, those are all things that are affected with her but we and that's the reason you might see us clean her like twice a day her ears and face and everything we wash twice a day just trying to keep those areas clean so that like we don't get a staph infection in on top of that hopefully that answers that um sarah asked about seeing the new kittens we've been trying to show show some of them cat lady i love this one cat lady i love this one about the hanging fat on the cats they're fat <laughs> a trim cat usually doesn't have that hangy fatty thing on their belly um if you I've got the perfect cat to show you what cat lady's talking about. Here. Here. Oh. Oh. Uh, now we, we can't embarrass Emmeline. Er, yeah, Emmeline. But see this right here? <laughs> this is the hanging fat that cat lady's talking about. And because she licks her... her oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because she licks her belly, there's not a whole lot of hair here. Yes, how embarrassing. But that's what that is, and it's just it's just chunk of monk of fat. That's what that is. There you go. Oh, I'm probably going to pay for that. Emmeline will probably do something. Well, I'm sorry, Emmy. Um, Nuki asked a question that I don't think you guys have ever asked before. What cats are the hardest? to adopt <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> cat cruiser I love it thanks I love that um, Yuki asks which cats are the hardest to adopt you know we love them all but there are three colors that are the hardest kitties for us to adopt and it's it's fact I, I'm not being critical it's a fact is a fact and it's pretty much probably any shelter or rescue that does cats are going to tell you about the same thing. It's black cats, um, some of the tigers, and the brown tigers in particular, and the torties. And isn't that sad because they're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful cats, but those are the ones that we have the hardest ones um, to adopt. And then if you take your brown tiger compared to a brown tiger with a marble swirl, the swirlies will usually go fast, faster than the brown tiger. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's right, but it's the truth. So, um, like right now, we have, what is it, three blacks, quite a few tigers, and a lot of torties. But um, 
but we know like Tweeney's going to go to an awesome home and these these tourties that we have sometimes people put bad labels on them they say that they're kind of weird and wacky but these guys are wonderful they're loving yeah yeah you come get them Nuki we'll get we'll give them to you we love our kitties and we love every single one of them no matter what color they are and uh, Wild asked about my sister and Ju Nancy and Judy and my sister other sister Patty and my mom and dad um, my mom is tired this has taken a toll on her but but my dad is he's had a bad bad weekend um, we we called the nurse today dad's having some more problems and just things are escalating a little bit I'm trying to go out every single day now just to help and just also to help my mom um, but yeah there's some issues that we're we have to address and um, just kind of hard you never like to see your mom and dad get old things happen though um, Sonny asked about Steve and um, I'm getting really aggravated at workman's comp the lady that we we need to talk to is uh, on vacation now till Monday it's been four weeks that we've been waiting for this letter which is what I left her a message today on the answering machine telling her that you know it's four weeks we're going to end up having to have him do all his lab work and x-rays and everything all over again if we don't get this moving and and it hurts so we're we're still kind of just in a stuck zone it's very very frustrating uh, cat lady asked uh, two cats oh two cats not get along will they ever get along you know they're all different cat lady as you know they're all different sometimes it may take two three weeks for a new cat to adjust to some new cats and some cats never do adjust I've got them on both sides of the fence on that you know some most of the cats that are here that go into new homes adjust fairly well but sometimes the residence cats don't always accept them fully most of them do because these cats are so laid back and uh, they're used to the comings in and goings out that things are you know they're pretty even even going but there's cats that live in the same home that they learn to tolerate each other but they never become bestest buddies and I know some cats who live in the same home that live in separate parts of the house one's got I know this one family in particular one cat lives up door, upstairs one lives downstairs never the two mix they don't want to but you know generally I think that they do learn to tolerate each other if you're talking like cats that are really dead set about not accepting somebody else I think that they can learn to tolerate each other um, and hopefully learn to enjoy each other but yeah they're they're all different they all have a different personality um, Bets asked where the dogs stay around the other side we have a room it used to be called the newcomers room it's our supply room where we keep our extra things um, paper towels and plates and things like that and um, that's where the doggies stay they have blankies and cushies and treats and all kinds of stuff they get walked I try to do it I don't always get to walk them sometimes I take them out in the backyard and let them just free run and they do real good now that they're older staying put but they they stay out here sometimes I've had people ask well why don't I take them in the house because well, I'm never in my house I'm out here so they stay out here with me you know and back on the kitties that we were just talking about um, there's some things you know you can do that to help enhance that that greeting and one of them is not I had one family call me and tell me well they were making the cats touch nose to nose so they would get used to each other those are the, the things you don't want to do the best thing is just to be cool and calm and relaxed as the the humans be that way and a lot of times those feelings will rub off on the cats um, but you don't you can't force it or you will will create more of a problem we also use those fair own um, plug-ins I know some people say they've never had any luck with those there's been some cats I haven't seen of improvement and then there's been some cats that I've seen a lot of improvement we also use rescue remedy it's a flower essence that um, I have seen it work many many times when we had our clinic 
we use that a lot for the cats and I always was a big believer in that and I use it in here at times also um, but it's rescue remedy it's a flower essence uh, that you can get usually at health food stores uh, those are that's something else that might kind of ease the stress level a little bit and adoption I just wrote adoption now what the heck did I mean I don't know <laughs> anybody know what that one was I write so fast sometimes I either can't read it or I just write two little words and then I don't know what I was supposed to be answering okay oh good good deal so I think we answered everything is there anything else we need to do who got adopted today um, Lilo Tugger went down to my friend Eric's house um, Hudson is on hold <coughs> um, Cassie was adopted and then you know Buffett left yesterday so we're rocking and rolling oh that's a, I wrote that down I was going to tell you that November December Jan I've said this before though November December January February is our biggest adoption month and I think the highest amount of adoptions we've had in one day was seven that was pretty cool how do I say no to a potential adopter mm, I've turned down I turn down people and I tell them why you know if, if I'm worried that they're going to leave them outside I tell them that if I think that they're not going to have enough attention I'll tell them that if there's something that I can't quite place my finger on that I'm not feeling comfortable with it I'll tell them I have to do an extra reference and nine times out of ten those people don't call me back or come back so there's always I try to go by my feelings on that um, if I don't feel right about it I don't let them out the door but I'm usually honest and tell them why especially sometimes and sometimes when kids are here like today those two boys that were here they those are awesome kids I love them um, but sometimes kids are too rough and sometimes they don't um, have the respect that they need for cats and so I ask them wait a little while or come back and let's practice holding cats and let's practice the right way to play with cats you know because if we don't protect these cats and once they're gone then they're at the new new family's mercy so as long as they're here we still got to stay so and where they're going mm -hmm. did you find Donna I'm not sure I'll have to look in the room yeah yep those kids were escorted to the door I was outside doing something Kurt did that one does PJ no longer have a hold on Grammy? No, uh-uh. Um, I think PJ's going to concentrate on getting well right now. And I'm so glad that PJ's back with us again. <laughs> How is Remo? Remo's awesome. Remo is a play girl, playboy. Um, for sometimes when you first walk up to him and if he moves too fast, he kind of looks like, what's going on? And then if you just talk sweet to him, he's, he's fine. they won't put in garage you I just have to trust my instincts on things like that and you know you can you can um, talk to people and I, I honestly feel that you can tell by looking at them and listening to them and the tone of voice and their mannerisms you know if they're fibbing to you or not and trust me if I do not if I have an inkling of a doubt it's more talk time more talk time more reference time more you know checking up on them uh, and the two ladies that was here the, the, I did a vet ref a vet reference check while they were here and their vet gave them an excellent reference so I was happy about that <laughs> did you read what Rachel said about Cobbins okay yeah Sherry I think I'm gonna go do that how are fair seizures what is she in week 11 and no seizures that's awesome 
How do you feel about future adoptees from Massachusetts? We adopt from all over Zelda. Um, we've adopted lots and lots of places. Um, <laughs> yeah, right, Nuki. Um, they we adopt from all over, so we just want to make sure that they go to go to good homes. And the other thing is that when they adopt from very far away, we have to make sure that those people realize that if it doesn't work out, they have to come back here, not to a family, not to a rescue, not to a shelter. We want them back here. It's part of the deal. Someone asked me if I have my own cats. I do, and they're probably waiting right inside that door for me. I have 11 cats of my own, and I love them to pieces. And all of them but two came from out here. Yeah, Zelda. Yeah. That would be awesome. Please come. Please volunteer. We'll put you to work. Buffin went to one home and Whiffin went to one home. They're doing great. Maybe Jim can send in new carriers. <laughs> Tell us their names. Oh, you guys are putting me to the test. Okay, then I gotta gotta go in. I pro don't laugh at me if I miss one. It's um Missa, Zeke, Zany, um, Fergus, Feliz Navidad. Sherry, K. Martina, Amos, um, <laughs> huh? I said Missy first. Devante, I missed my Devante. Um, <laughs> yeah, Feliz Navidad. Okay, I'm stalling. Aprilla, I missed my Aprilla girl. I am missing one more though. Golly, I'm going to go in and somebody's going to scratch me for not remembering. I love them. I do. I love my kitties. And the best time at night for me is when I get to go in and get my jammies and lay on my couch and all my kitties come over and lay on me. And Kurt here has three kitties of his own. He adopted um, Dougster, which I called him. I called him Douglas today. He jumped up on something and knocked over a bunch of papers. I said, Douglas! And he's got Taurine and um, Diffy. So they're nice cats, too. Yeah, Doug, Dugster was in trouble. Dugster's always in trouble. Okay, night, everybody. Thank you for everything, and thank you for being a part of what we do here. And keep up the votes. We're still in number one, which is really, really awesome. And um, Shasta is okay. She's gaining weight. All of them gained weight today. And thanks for being here for us and with us. Okay. Put the postcards under the glass on the desk. Okay. So you put pens up. Okay. These are cool, aren't they? Yeah. Can you put Good. those under the computer too? Mm -hmm. Or these two for I'll save them until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hmm?